are, NAM 2012, we're at the Apogee booth and we're talking to Cody. Uh, last year uh, they had announced the Duet 2, but it hadn't been released yet. So we're going to talk a little bit about that and also something new, uh, the breakout box that now uh, comes with for the Duet. Uh, so Cody, tell us a little bit about the Duet 2 and then the breakout box. All right, so Duet 2, uh, absolutely amazing product. It's basically a combination of the last you know four or five years of the original Duet being out all the things that we've heard over and over and over again, man, I wish it did this, I wish it did this. Duet was our first consumer product. And so we took all of the feedback uh, that we'd received over those years and we just tried to cram as much of it as we could into Duet 2. And so that's really what you're looking at here. Uh, to run you through some of the features quickly, uh, probably the, the biggest and most important thing about Duet 2 is converters and mic crease. They're not just a little bit upgraded, They've been completely redone, and they're actually on par now with some of the highest end converters and mic pre's, very, very close to Symphony I.O., you know, uh, that we've ever put out in a, a product at this price point. So that is something that we're really proud of, excited about, and uh, I think is going to mean a lot in, in our industry. You can get quality at this price point now, you know, quality that high. So completely redo the converters and mic pre's. As you can see, it's had a, an entire facelift. I'll touch on that in a minute. We switched to USB 2.0. Really big deal. A lot of people would ask uh, or have asked, why would you leave Firewire? Uh, and the reason is, in uh, version 10.6.4, I believe it was, of the OS uh, that Apple uh, put out last year, they uh, somehow, one way or another, I don't know all the technical aspects, but they restructured the way USB 2.0 works. Um, and now, uh, if we set everything up the right way, we're actually able to get way better uh, speeds than we ever got and way better results than we ever got on Firewire uh, on the original Duet. So it was a no-brainer move for us, especially because every computer out there has uh, USB, and there are some right now that don't have FireWire, so you really have universal compatibility. Are you guys looking at Thunderbolt at all? We are. Funny you should mention it. Uh, I'll tell you about that in a minute. Okay. Um, so USB uh, 2.0, we completely changed the breakout cable as well. Okay, uh, breakout cable. Uh, one of the things, uh, I don't have a cable out here to show you, but one of the things that we changed on it is uh, we're using combi connectors now. So we made the breakout cable a little bit smaller, also made it much more sturdy and rugged, uh, made it a little bit easier to manage, uh, and uh, you have four outputs now instead of two, as well as balance outputs. Those were a couple features that over and over again people had requested. So we added those uh, to the breakout cable. Uh, talking about uh, the facelift here, you can see that we've added a beautiful screen. This is an OLED screen, and it's like having a television on your interface. I mean, you can just see the most intricate details, uh, one decibel at a time changes, uh, input and output. Below the screen, we have these two circles. These are touch-sensitive pressure pads. So no SD card, and you put your own movies on there, your AVI files and Maybe MKV one day. files? We'll okay. see. We'll see. Yeah, right? <laughs> so we'll find out which hacker uh, figures out how to do that first. Uh, but so these two pads, you they're touch-sensitive like an iPhone or iPad. You can set up a whole list of features uh, on the uh, free software that comes at Duet Maestro on the computer. You can choose which features you want these two to do, like mute, sum to mono, dim, toggle between outputs all kinds of different stuff. Um, I guess the last thing I'll touch on real quick with the Duet goes all the way up to 192 now. So the original went up to 96. You have amazing converters, amazing pre's. You can go all the way up to 192. A whole slew of features, not to mention that it just looks beautiful next to the computer, you know. Very uh, similar aesthetic look and feel to the Mac, which is what it's going to be sitting next to. And uh, you're getting all of that in a consumer price point, which is pretty amazing because it's absolutely a professional you know, solution. Now, moving away from Duet 2, uh, we are just now bringing out uh, the Duet 2 breakout box, which a lot of anticipation about this. This is another one of those things that we'd heard over and over again requested. When we had the original Duet out, people would always ask, you know, why don't you guys make a breakout box? And I would say the ratio is probably somewhere around 80% of the people are fanatical about the breakout cable and they love it and they're always going on and on about, this is the best thing out there. And then you might have 15, 20% of the people that are like, man, why don't you make a breakout box? And so it's, you know, we just figured out, okay, here's how we can keep everyone happy. We're gonna give them both options. So we really improved the breakout cable. If you're more of a breakout box person, you have that option too. Um, and you can see it looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, not gonna change anything quality-wise, but feature-wise, you have a, a little bit of a difference here. Obviously, instead of using the combi connectors, the co uh, combination connectors, you have separate XLR and quarter-inch inputs. Uh, and the only other thing that's really gonna change here is the, uh, XLR outputs instead of quarter inch outputs on the breakout cable. So that's about it as far as the Duet goes. Um, absolutely amazing product though. Has uh, Apogee uh, 
put a, put a price point out on the uh, breakout box yet? Or breakout box ninety nine. Ninety nine dollars. Yep. Duet two already up at five ninety five. And uh, yeah. What more can you ask for? Thank yeah. you, Cody. Appreciate how about, it. How about Thunderbolt? That's right. Let's okay, talk about so Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Um, we just actually today announced our uh, our new Thunderbolt. Uh, I don't even know how how we would how we're saying this yet. It's so new. <laughs> Thunderbolt interfacing mode for Symphony IO. Um, so it's not even something that we have here. We just put up the prototype designs on our website, so you can go and look at that under uh, the NAM 2012 page. Uh, but it's basically the solution uh, we announced right uh, when when uh, in, uh, Thunderbolt came out, uh, whatever it was a year ago, a year and a half ago. We announced uh, the connectivity that we were working on for Symphony IO. And now we actually have given you guys something to see. This is what we're doing. So it's a small box. You're going to run out of the Symphony I.O. connector on Symphony I.O., the Symphony 64 connector on Symphony I.O., uh, into this little box, and then Thunderbolt out of it, right into your computer. Now, how excited are you guys about it, and what does really Thunderbolt mean? What, what kind of, what kind of doors just, does that open for you guys as a, a company that develops these type products? Well, right now it's limitless. I mean, we've never had a, you know, a connection that is this easy and universal. It's built into the system so people aren't having to buy cards or anything else. You can have so many different devices on Thunderbolt. It's opening up a world of possibilities. I think we are even constantly discovering you know, new possibilities and new features and new things that we can do with it. But I mean, we're, all that to say, extremely excited about it, yeah. So when do you think we might see something that, from Apogee that will uh, have a Thunderbolt port on to it? To be determined. We will to see. We haven't announced that just yet. TBD. TBD. Excellent. Thank you so much, You're Cody. You're so welcome. It. So welcome.